When I read the story of Lawrence Fox's uh, concerns that he has been um, that his career has been ended by allegations of racism I, I think his career took a nosedive really after his appearance on Question Time but it hasn't been helped by the allegations of racism by Crystal by Simon Blake by Nicola Thorpe if they are true his counterclaim uh, that they were paedophiles was silly and infantile now the barristers are saying in the court that um, Patrick Green is saying that um, when Lawrence Fox said that he was simply um, making a, a it was a retort to an allegation of racism uh, and not a factual allegation and that there were no real world consequences for the um, other three there have been real world consequences for Lawrence Fox he's not able to get a mortgage and so on it does seem to me to parallel very much the sort of experience uh, that is so dramatically presented in Sensate I don't know if you've seen this um, Netflix television series uh, I think it's just finished its third season and uh, it, 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 it's quite um, it's quite a brilliant series that takes the idea that um, a group of people live in a cluster uh, and their minds are uh, inter interwoven and one of the characters in this cluster is a fellow called Lito Rodriguez who's a Mexican uh, action hero film star and his his life is thrown into chaos when he is outed as uh, uh, somebody in a gay relationship in fact he's in a sort of uh, menage uh, and uh, and his, his in in the in season two, the, the, there's a heartrending moment when his agent drops him because he's been to a pride rally in Brazil. Now I'm not suggesting that Lawrence Fox has been outed because he went to a pride rally, um, but I think Lawrence Fox is unfairly castigated he has uh, he said that the only money he's got now the only income he's got is from his political work this is such a shame because he is one of the first rate actors of our generation and he his his family is a remarkable family um and uh i i i think my heart goes out to him in so many ways though i think he's also been a bit silly and I don't think one's life should be destroyed because one is silly. He wasn't trained as a politician. He was trained as an actor. He was trained to be emotive and passionate and, uh, and, and to respond with words ideally written by somebody else. And that is what he's good at. And now suddenly he's thrown into this world where he's got to produce ideas of his own and at the same time panda again to a camera. And maybe in some ways he goes into the behavior for which he was trained which is to be emotional in front of a camera and to say whatever whatever words happen to be around ideally not his own i would love to see lawrence back in in in, in his proper job and i i find it terribly sad what's happening um but it is a sign of our times that when politics is so disturbed, it attracts all manner of people <laughs> like Lee Anderson, Pretty Patel, Suella Braverman. Um, and uh, I, 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 I would have normally said, well, you know, James Cleverly is, is somebody who we would expect to find in the political arena, but clearly not. He's out of his depth as well. And he's not been trained for politics. He's clearly been trained for the gutter. And we need a rethink. We need a rethink. We need a political class. And we need, we, we need 
training for that class, wh wherever it comes from. We need a political education factory. And that's not about people who, who are hanging around Westminster. It's about giving people the ammunition to deal with interviews, to deal with the stress of politics on a daily basis. Um, and whether they're from the Labour Party, from the Conservative Party, or from some emerging uh, nucleus of um, uh, nonsense, a nebulous nucleus of nonsense, um, it doesn't matter. They need training. And that's something that can't really be produced or provided simply by Parliament. Th th there needs to be... I, I think the various political parties need to engage, support, and and um, uh, and, and not just in terms of uh, avoiding being trapped by silly questions, but but, but simply uh, uh, helping politicians to deal with, uh, to cover, to discover resilience and to discover those inner resources um, so that they're not inclined to attack the uh, either the most vulnerable in Parliament or the most vulnerable in people's constituencies the uh, and James cleverly I, I'm, I'm afraid he's simply responding to a situation where he is out of his depth as indeed is Lawrence. And um, a, a long time ago, a good year ago, I, I was suggesting we ought to give Harry a hug, um, the, um, the, the the Duke of Sussex. And now I think we should give Cleverly a hug and give Lawrence a hug. And uh, just be nice to them. If you're nice to people, they tend to respond in kind.